Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. Hopefully by the thumbnail and by the time of the month, you can tell that it is time for our TBR game. I do want to tell you that I think today is going to be our last time playing this particular TBR game for a while, if not permanently. I'm not sure yet. So first things first, I can't find my troll again. I know I laundered him. He was in my laundry. But I don't remember where he ended up. So we're going to use this little like fun. It used to be part of a bookmark. I don't remember what they're called. Are they tassels? If they're part of a bookmark. Anyways, we're going to do that. We did not play the game in October, so in November, uh, we're not going to do any punishments unless I land on the same space twice in a row. Then we'll add an extra book, just like normal. Uh, October was really interesting for me, so I... Just, it's only the 22nd, so there's still nine more days, eight more days. There's still eight more days of the year, or of the month, I'm sorry, of the month left. So, I could get more books read. In fact, I'm 90% sure that I will, because I've also started vlogging again. Uh, I kind of took an uh, unintentional break from booktube and vlogging and everything. I have had so many things happen in my personal life and maybe I will talk about them in an upcoming video. I have not decided yet. It's all good things, I think. <laughs> but... I've been really busy because of those things that have changed. So, I haven't had time to film or read or anything. I'm actually doing really well, though, because it's the 22nd of October, and I've read seven books. I'm in my eighth book. So, that's not bad at all. For some reason I thought that I hadn't been, I haven't been reading, but I think it's just audiobooks are really helping me. And uh, yeah, let's just dive right into this TBR. So like I said, if you enjoy this TBR style with the game and stuff, let me know in the comments below. I have started making these jars of TBRs. So this one is all the Kindle books that I own. I'm working on audiobooks. They're out in the living room, but it's like pretty full. There's like 170 books and I want to prioritize the books that I own physically and the books that I own digitally this is death by tbr this is like all my bookshelf ones i have not done this one yet and then i think i want to have one other jar that's going to be like a themed vlog like i could just pick one and it would be like read it or unhaul it uh maybe do like a scavenger hunt or different kinds of TBRs like vlogs and I could do a vlog for it. Uh, we have TBR Knockout for November. TBR Knockout is thankfulness so the first prompt is to read a book with food on the cover and I haven't picked anything yet but if editing Alita you know this is her jam to put the book up good job uh 
And the second prompt for TBR Knockout, which is put on by Mel from Completely Melanie. Go check her channel out. I'll link her down below. Uh, but she, the other TBR Knockout prompt is family. So there could be like found family. It could just have family in it. There could be a family word on the title. I don't know yet because I haven't picked it. But again, editing Alita. Good job, girl. You're doing you're doing it. You're doing good. And then for Buzzwordathon, this one was very, very difficult for me. I s might have an audiobook that will work for this. I think it's Jewel. The songs are only half the story. Uh, this is a biography about Jewel. All right, rule number one right here is a four. So a four is a mystery that this applies to. Oh, it's a mystery that's a debut. That one was not super hard. Uh, last month in October, I picked a bunch of... De I mean, a bunch of cozy mysteries because I kind of want to test to see if I like cozy mysteries. My theory is that the stakes aren't high, high enough and that I won't like them. But your girl has not read a single uh, cozy mystery this month. Uh, I have plans to read at least one going forward this month. That did not end up happening at all because I'm working on a reading vlog and I have a book picked for it that's a cozy mystery, which is not this one, but this one is a debut mystery. This is Killer Content by Olivia Blake and I just know that I think Odessa is a waitress. And when she goes to work one day, one of her coworkers just drops dead, kind of. And she is the one investigating what happened to her coworker and her friend. It sounds really just silly. And I feel like cozy mysteries are kind of, a lot of people describe them as like a warm hug. And I can see that, but for me, I think that I'm going to think it's not, uh, it's not high stakes enough. Like there's not enough going on, but I do want to give it a shot. There is a chance that I'm going to read this this month before November, but either way, I, I'm going to try to read this in November, if not by the end of October, it still is going to count. Let's go to roll number two. Alright, roll number two is a three. A romance with the first chapter challenge. We landed on romance with the first chapter challenge. For this one, I ended up picking three books that are part of a series. They're all different serieses, but they're all different parts of series. And I want to continue to work on series in 2025. I didn't really do that too much this year, but it might be one of my bigger goals next year. So, we will go with, actually I have four. So we have Life's Too Short by Abby Jimenez, which this is my favorite book before her most current series came out. Um, this was my favorite. I love this book, but I have already read it. So is that cheating? It might be. Then there's Crazy Stupid Romance by Lisa K. Adams, which is the third book in the 
Romance Book Club series. Or we have the second book in, I don't know what the name of the series is. I think it's Skyward. But this could be Us by Kennedy Ryan. This is the second book in that series. And then if I want to be brave and just start a whole new series, there's Full Measure by Rebecca Yaros. Full measures. Uh, so those are the four. I might automatically eliminate Life's Too Short because it's five stars and I absolutely love this book. But I want to give like my TBR a shot to shine. Alright, roll number three. <gasps> no! Now we have to take six rolls because we're still on romance. That works for TBR knockouts. Hmm. Then we rolled and we got romance again that fits for TBR knockout. So in November it's Thanksgiving. The theme is thankfulness. So you have to pick a book that has family or is like centered around family. I have a few options for those, but it's not romance. So for romance, I'm going to pick a romance that has food on the cover. There's cupcakes. This is called Kiss My Cupcake by Helena Hunting. I, it says he's sugar, she's spice, the perfect mix or recipe for disaster. I think that he owns a bakery, or she does, I don't know, but I'm excited, I don't really know much about this romance, I just think that the cover's cute, there's all those cupcakes, and I usually like a romance that has a bakery aspect, or like food, I don't know why, but for some reason I think that food connects us and I love those kind of romances. All right, let's go to roll number four of six now. All right, number four is a two, so it's a thriller or a horror novel that booktube reads. Ooh. So for roll number four, we landed on thriller horror novel, and we got that booktube reads. So it has to be a book in which I've seen on booktube before, and okay, this one came out a couple of years ago, but I have no idea what this book is about. Yet, it's on my unlucky 13 five-star predictions. Uh, I know it's literary horror, and that's all that I know. But everyone was hyping this up, and that is The Rabbit Hutch by Tess Guntney. I really just thought this was a literary book and I was kind of right. It's a literary horror and I have no idea what it's about. I think it might be like a suburban, like neighborhood horror novel. I hope it's not just like suburban mama drama because I don't like reading about those, but I'm no idea what this book is about and here it is let's go to roll number five all right roll number five a four so a mystery we've only hit three of them okay oh a mystery by a female author All right, so like I said earlier, I am working on this vlog where I'm reading Cozy Mystery. That's not entirely true. I mean, it is. 
I want to read some cozy mystery for this reading vlog, but this reading vlog is a week dedicated to Stay Spooky a thon. I am so close to getting one or two or three bingos, and if I read in different areas, then I can get more uh, points and there's like this bingo board and I'm checking off as much as I can and I'm really enjoying it but I'm working on that vlog right now and my next book for that is going to be Dial A for Aunties by Jessica Quisantano. Uh so if I read other cozy mysteries during this week for that reading vlog I don't know if I'm going to, but, you know, it's potential. There's a potential. Um, if I do, then I'm going to count it towards November's TBR because I didn't stick to October's and we actually didn't even play the game at all. So, I have another Jesse Centano book. This one is Vera Wong's Unsolicited Advice for Murderers. Solving a Mystery Can't... Isn't every one's cup of tea but uh this one i've heard is really cute really funny it uh follows vera wong who is this elder and she's a tea shop owner and now a detective apparently uh but i'm excited to try some cozy mystery i'm actually really nervous to try some cozy mystery but we'll see how it works out uh, let's go to what should be our last roll. All right, our last roll is a wild card. Oh no, I'm scared. I'm very scared. Ah, okay. So wild card doesn't matter what genre, it's just someone else is picking my TBR. Matthew is my little brother and the last time that his name came up, he never picked a book. So I will text him a picture of one of my bookshelves and if he picks one, then you will know right now it'll be right there. Uh, chances are he is not going to so I'm also gonna pick one other like the top uh, card okay so read it or unhaul it perfect so if Matthew doesn't get back to me he doesn't pick one then we'll do a read it or on haul it challenge in November maybe maybe just to make it more chaotic do it during Thanksgiving but basically the read it or on haul it challenge is this challenge that a lot of booktubers are doing. They have different names like Shelve It or Scrap It, Read It or Unhaul It, uh, Tackle My TBR, the list goes on and on. And basically it's just this vlog where most of the ones that I've seen have like one of these jars full of their physical TPR and it's only reading physical books and you just kind of pick one and then you read it or you unhaul it. Some booktubers just pick what books they want. Sometimes there's like a random number. So I could get creative with how we pick the books. But if Matthew does not reply, uh, then I will just do a <laughs> read it or unhaul it type vlog. So that'll be fun. Uh, but here is my TBR. So we have Vera Wong's unsolicited advice for murderers. The Rabbit Hutch. Kiss My Cupcake. We have a lot of different kinds of books. Uh, one of these four 
for a romance that's part of a series and we're gonna do a first chapter challenge on those and then we have killer contents and whatever Matthew picked or a read it or unhaul it challenge. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe to my channel if you're new around here. I will catch you in the next video. Bye!